So there is this school in Europe, actually in Denmark, that assures you a job or guarantees you a job after graduation. Actually, I have shared about this school before, the fact that you can study in this university on a scholarship, on a Danish government scholarship. The investor of Southern Denmark guarantees job after graduation to certain programs and there are also scholarships being offered to study at this university. I'm going to be exploring these things, so be sure to watch this content to the end so that you don't miss out on any valuable information. Okay, and in case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Promise Breno and I am changing lives. I have lots of content on my channel already and I've been to several countries around the world. So I have the experience and the expertise to help you regarding your immigration journey or your vision. So ensure that you, you stay glued by being part of this family Okay, by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. Okay, I drop content every week. And please like this video to support it. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's talk about the first job guarantee at this university or that somebody can benefit at this university. As an engineering student at SDU Sonderberg, you are guaranteed a first job when you have completed your master's degree in engineering. Okay, this applies to students starting from September 2020. Okay, now if you're not an engineering student or you're not planning to study engineering, don't go away. Okay, because I'm going to be sharing scholarship opportunities and you might be qualified to apply for these scholarship opportunities. Okay, now companies in Southern Denmark and SDU have teamed up to create a unique first job guarantee scheme which offers newly qualified graduates a six-month job after graduation. If you haven't already got a job, the scheme comes into force for students who start the program in September 2020, and it applies to the master's and master's degree programs offered by the Faculty of Engineering at SDU Sonderberg. Okay, in order to be covered, by the scheme. However, the following mandatory requirement applies. So basically, they are guaranteeing you a job, okay, if you finish from one of these programs, okay, if you finish from this faculty of engineering, they are guaranteeing you a job, but then there are conditions, okay? So the first condition is that you must collaborate with a Danish company on an internship or an or graduation project during your studies. Second condition is that you must complete your education in the stipulated time. Okay, that means that if the education is just three years, you must complete it in three years. Okay, so this applies for both uh, bachelor's degree and master's degree in engineering. Okay, remember that if you're not an engineering student, I have another opportunity to share with you, which is the scholarship. So that's why you need to hang around. Okay, don't go anywhere. Okay, then the next condition, which is the third condition, is that you must achieve knowledge of Danish equivalent to level B1 on the CERF scale requiring certification. So B1 is not actually too high, you know, in terms of language. So we have A1, right, which is the lowest, and we have A2, right? Then we have B1, B2. So B1 is not really high. So I believe that if you put your mind, you'll be able to learn it and get the certificate before you graduate. Then participation in career activities offered during your studies, okay? You must participate in activities offered during your studies and that is, some activities will be compulsory. During your studies, you will come into contact with the companies in connection with or among other things, okay? Matchmaking events, um, student collaboration day, and various projects, okay? So make sure that you look at this requirement, okay? If you're looking forward to going to this school, make sure that this requirement, I mean, make sure that you put them at the back of your mind and adhere to them in order to fulfill the requirements to be offered that kind of job we're talking about, okay? Let's look at the Danish government scholarship. We have the Danish government scholarship. There's another scholarship also in the, in the university, okay? So basically, SDU awards the Danish government scholarship among international full degree graduate students, okay? This one is just for graduate students. Now, to talk more about the Danish government scholarship, the University of Southern Denmark offers a limited number of scholarships through the Danish government scholarship program to highly qualified applicants in recognition of the important investment that oversees students making their education. Who can receive the scholarship? To be eligible 
for the scholarship, you must be a known EU or EEA citizen enrolling in one of the following master's program. Okay, so the first one is master's in um, mechatronics, the master's in electronics, and master's in mechanical engineering. Now, for those of you who are not engineering students, there's another one, okay, which I'm going to be sharing, which is the full or partial tuition fee scholarship. So this one, I believe, is for other faculties and also including engineering, okay? So this scholarship is guaranteed, I mean, it's granted either as full or partial tuition waiver, okay? So if your school fees is like, let's say, 5,000 euro, for example, then this scholarship kind of uh, will help you Okay, because it has been offered to second and fourth semester. Okay, so let's say you have um uh, you have four years of studies, for example, right? Then this scholarship will be offered in your second semester and your third semester. And if you're paying five thousand euros per year, for example, as school fees, that means that you you just pay like two thousand five hundred euros for the first semester. The second semester, the scholarship comes into play. Then you pay school fees for the next semester. Then the, the, the fourth semester, the uh, you don't need to pay school fees because of the scholarship. Okay, so remember that this, this the scholarship can be a partial fee waiver or a full fee waiver. Okay, all right. And there are some conditions that you must fulfill, of course, in order to maintain it. Note that fee waivers cover thirty ECTS per semester. If the number of courses exceed thirty ECTS, they are not covered by the fee waiver. So basically, uh, the fee waiver will only be for 30 ECTS credit courses per semester. Okay, very, very important. Now, there are some selection criteria that you need to put at the back of your mind. To be considered for the scholarship, you must simply, or you simply have to apply for admission to one or more of the relevant master's programs. No separate scholarship application is needed. You see what they're saying? So you just need to apply. Okay, you just need to apply to one of their master's program. Okay, just need to apply. If you want to know if the program you are applying for, if the scholarship is applicable to that program, I would uh, recommend that you contact them. Okay, here, this is the email address. You can contact them and ask them before you apply. Okay, remember that you can apply for it without, um, you can just apply for the program without applying for the scholarship. So I feel like if they choose you or like if they choose you, they'll just give you the scholarship automatically or probably they have a, a ranking of students that they want to give the scholarship. OK, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. OK, um, of course, your application must include application deposit fee, uh, receipt, official bachelor's degrees, transcripts and diploma in English or Danish or Swedish or Norwegian. It must include grades and ECTS, unit credit for each course, course descriptions for the course on your transcript, proof of English proficiency, okay? Um, the link is in the description so that you can look at these things and read them for yourself, okay? All right, guys. Uh, also, I'm going to put the link to this one too that uh, talks about the uh, first job guarantee so that you can check it out for yourself, okay, and read it for yourself, okay? The link will be in the description under this video. And also, I've also made a video regarding the, the, the Danish government scholarship. And the Danish government scholarship covers full tuition fee, okay, plus monthly grants or just full tuition fee. So it depends on, um, you know, it depends because they have, they, have, they have a quota and they have some number of people that they want to give a fully funded scholarships. That is both the tuition fee and the living expenses or just the tuition fee scholarship, okay? So just uh, make sure that you read these things and you, you can also ask questions to that email address I showed you so that you familiarize yourself and know what you're going into, all right? Okay, guys, that will be it about this content. So share your thoughts in the comment section, okay? And also put your questions there, all right? And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content and also please don't forget to like this video all right thank you so much for watching till i come your way again have a great time see you in my next video